What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back into Fun Spot America, more specifically Kissimmee, for another mind blower construction update. And as we can see, Lift Hill is looking good and we're almost complete over there. But of course, we're gonna do our first stop here at the storage lot, where it looks just about the same as last week, but a little less wood over here. Of course, we're gonna walk around and show you what's left. Another week has passed, and all the steel here for the railings, for the track work, well, it's still the same spot. Nothing has changed, nothing has moved, and I'm not too concerned just yet. We still have a little bit of time, but I would have expected some of the steel would have ended up on the construction site by now. But very soon, it'll make its way over. And further on down, still quite a bit of steel left for the support structure for the ride, but the good thing is, we have some equipment and crews on site taking more pieces over right now. So this is all that remains for the support structure for Mind Blower. So in a previous update, we had pointed out these supports right here, which are much thicker than some of the other ones on site. And I'm still thinking these right here for the barrel roll that will go over the station. There's another pile right here, and then check them out compared to these right here. So much different, a little bit thicker. And just like that, we're loading up supports right now onto the lift to take back over to the construction site. Still nothing in terms of trains for the ride, but very soon, they'll be here. Now we're at the end of the storage lot and less and less supplies are in here as there used to be a giant pile of wood right here. And this is all that remains. Just this one segment and then all the piles down this way. Well, not a whole lot different, but less and less is here. We're gonna head over to the main construction site now and see how mine blower is doing. All right, so we have made our way over and we can see a crane in the air and that's usually a good sign. As we can see right here, new bents are already going in place for the turn, leading back towards the lift. There's only a couple more segments left to do and then we're all connected. We also have a bunch of wood up there for the laminate for the track itself. And then further on down this way, it's just a mess of workers putting new bents together to go in the air. More track and bents are in place right here for the 90 degree bank turn, and then also the turn right here, leading back towards the brake run. A lot of progress just in these areas right here. Well, it's a good thing and a bad thing today. They have a whole bunch of this parking lot all closed off because they're putting a ton of stuff in the air. But unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get too close to the ride, at least on this side today. But that's okay, there's a lot to see. Not a whole lot different with the lift till motor house. So yeah, the barriers extend all the way over here inside the parking lot. And this is about as close as we're gonna get, at least right here. We can zoom down this way and see all those guys again working on those bents and the new supports that they brought over from the storage lot. And then the whole track ride layout looks absolutely amazing, guys. And it gets much lower to the ground over here than what it was in our last update. Quite a few new bends in place. Now that's more like it. We are much closer to the ride now. Taking a look here at some of the track that is heading towards the double down. A couple new bends have been added down at the bottom here. And then more have been added right here for this section. And then just along the way, we can see there is a whole bunch of new bends in the air. And that's gonna be for another turn that comes right over in this area. 
So still all of those brackets on the ground, just need the supports. And there's a bunch over here already, but new stuff going in the air there and over here. Not a whole lot different with the station, but as we zoom in here, we can see a couple new railings right there, and then also over here near that gentleman, where he's doing some inspections. Now over here, we do have the transfer track right there, and then as it extends back towards me, there's gonna be a little maintenance barn, and we still have some of the roof right there for that. So that's not in place just yet. And on this segment right here, it looks like we're trying to figure out the gauge, just making sure it is just right, as that's what that board is for right there. One other really awesome thing to see is we now have the chain guide in place with the anti-rollbacks. It was reported by another site the chain was in place, but that is wrong. As we can see right here, those are the anti-rollbacks that go all the way up the lift hill, and we'll guide the chain up. Buddy. Looks like we have a couple more deliveries from the Gravity Group here. And the boxes last time held mag brakes and parts for the transfer track. Wonder what's in here now. And voila, just like that, we are talking about how no steel was on site to be bent. And guess what? There's some right there. In addition to that, we have one of the steel benders right here. So it's on site and we're going to be able to get some of the track in place now. So check this out guys, that steel that we just saw in the lift, it was from the storage lot for all the track pieces, is now in the air and heading towards the top of the lift hill. So let's talk about narrow clearances and gaps. Coming out of the barrel, there is definitely some narrow clearances and gaps. Woo! We're now inside the park getting a better look at some of those bends that have been added right here to another turn. And leading out of the barrel roll, station area here looks very nice. We have some new stuff down underneath it. We're gonna check that out in just a second. And of course we have the lift hill drop and brake run over there. And of course, here's that building that is directly underneath the station that we think may be an entrance for the ride. We shall see, but it's definitely looking like it. A couple more components for the air gates are in place, as we can see right here. One of the cylinders is used to actually open and close all of them. So that's in place now. And everything else looks like it's just about there. Another look now at the station area here, and thanks to Fun Spot America, who does a couple updates for their mind blower ride here. We learned that right in this area, there's gonna be an elevator and it's gonna be for ADA compliance. So guests with disabilities are gonna be able to take that up to the station. And as long as they can actually maintain upright and hold on to their strings, they'll be able to enjoy the ride. Again, the mag brakes are in place. Looks like all the wiring is pretty much done. So that's good. Well guys, this is a very important moment as we now have track on the ride, as we can see right here, connected to the wood. That is permanent, it's in place, and we're one step closer. So yeah, the first segments of the ride to receive steel for the track is right here on the brake run. And this is where we stopped about halfway down. So they have more, many, many more to add. It does appear that a couple of those thicker supports have arrived on site and they're in place right here. Don't put a drink allowed on the ride. Mr. Carson, 
A little bit further on down the brake run, we can see a group of workers right here, and these guys are new to the project as they are brought in just to do the steel work for the track. There's nine guys on site now, but they are definitely getting to work on this thing. Doesn't that look awesome? Doesn't that thing look freaking awesome? Doesn't that thing look amazing? And here we are now at the end of the ride area now. Looking very, very nice again. Leaves right over here by the Moser drop tower. The whole structure is super thick. Looking very nice. Oh yeah, it is time now for an aerial view of Mind Blower and we can check right here and see this structure is really, really thick down here at the bottom. And all they have to do is just add the supports to go back up towards the lift hill and that turn. I'm thinking here in the next week, this is all gonna be done as they have all the track in place down at the bottom right here for that 90 degree bank turn and the turn leading back towards the brake run. Over in this area, again, just a mess of steel. Double down, looking very good. Crane is down for the day as we are not doing any more lifting. But so far, mind blower, amazing progress this week. So you guys might remember last week's update when we had a couple head choppers and awesome hills. Well, now it's completely hidden almost. Protective insulation is now in place at the top of the station as well. And very soon we're gonna have some shingles going on. One other thing to note is, well, something is definitely missing right here. We used to have a ride. And if you remember, it was the disco style ride, but it had the surfboard and it's gone. I mean, we didn't see anything inside the storage lot, but we know it's gonna be returning. Just don't know where or when. Well, hello there, Screaming Eagles, and hello, Fun Spot Kitty. Yay, Bumper is back and catching some Z's right here next to the Screaming Eagles. More good news, as it appears, we have Fun Spot Duck also in attendance today. Hello there, Hot Sea. And it looks like we have some new progress with you this week as we have the cables fully taut now. And they line the spindle up at the very top there. And go all the way down. And speaking down at the base, check this out. We have seats now in place right there. And crew's working on the ride vehicle right now. Very exciting stuff. And I'm thinking Hot Seat is gonna be operational probably in the next week. And a little bit closer view now of the seats and we can see right there one of those is brand new and the other one is obviously a little bit older but hey they're getting back to operation did you say you wanted to go faster backwards hang on in other news for Hot Seat, all of the copper lines and electrical that were exposed before have now been covered up with sod and it extends all the way down, which is good. That means power is working and running to the ride. If they feel comfortable enough, to cover it up now. Well guys, that is gonna do it for another Fun Spot America Kissimmee update for Mind Blower and the Gravity Group project is really looking amazing. We're at about 80% done from what I'm thinking. And the entire structure looks absolutely amazing. Again, this week we had more of the structure going up for that turn from the lift to the first drop. And a whole bunch of new track and supports are up over at the 90 degree bank turn. We now have our first pieces of steel 
And over here, station work continues very slowly, but there is a little bit of progress and a whole bunch of new vents over here on the south end of the ride. We're going to have more updates from here, so if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem, and I will see you out on the Midway.